Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and today we are going to be going over the Decimus deck in-game. Uh, if you did not check out the uh, previous video going over the complete deck, it's going to be pretty similar to what's on screen now. Uh, it may not be 100% accurate, but I think it's pretty darn close. Uh, so here we go. Starting out here, I'm going to take my troops up towards C. Uh, since I'm playing more of the support role, my two teammates playing as Shipmaster are going to be taking the energy and dealing that stuff while I play a high support role and try to hold down the position that we need as well as support them if they're getting attacked or stuff like that. Mostly building up Locust, uh, building up my Marauder Chieftain, uh, saving up to be able to use Boundless Fury. Now here, off the start, I'm going to get pushed by these guys here. I believe it's just the one group. Yeah, it looks like it's just light blue pushing in. And so what I'm going to do is I move my troops in there to, to fight. Um, I believe I'm just trying to say I was just gonna sacrifice him but then we decided we wanted to hold it so we went ahead and dropped some locusts and I dropped a, we dropped two bloodfield locusts and two regular locusts and as you know those two are OP but it actually turned into a pretty big fight and I was able to move uh, one of my groups my jump pack brutes up there to collect that energy which was really nice and uh, if you didn't know, it's kind of random whether it spawns on the bottom or it spawns on the top. There's always a, a late single drop that drops in. And it's kind of, I haven't really found a specific way to know. Uh, it seems to just be random whether it drops on the top or the bottom, but we got lucky there. But as you can see, the control in the, I guess it'll call it the upper left of the map, up by A. We currently hold the position uh, for that top. Now there are three spawn points up there, so the reason why we're holding that, that's or that's the reason why we're, why we're holding them. Now we have forced them back, we destroyed their whole army, setting us up for a huge advantage here. Usually people don't push us like that. Uh, we, usually when people get A and B, they're content just to hold A and B, because they're scoring, you're not. Uh, but because this is what they did, we were I was able to push onto B with this chopper, and take control of it and start gaining us points, thus buying us more time. Uh, I believe they're going to push on it here quickly. You can see them building up their uh, troops at their home base up there. You can see the light blues being spawned in. And there's actually not that many troops on A. I think here we were trying to decide whether we wanted to just go out for the all-out push. Uh, but I think we just decided to hold off, take our few points. Uh, you can see we build up to 20 now. Uh, which is more than enough buying us a whole lot of extra time. Uh, any, We're fine give, getting zero points. Uh, that's fine. We've gone down 170 to zero, 190 to zero. That's not really our biggest concern. Any points we can get, though, do stall them. So that's one of the main things. And that's one of my things I do as a support. I try to notice when the A or B are lowly or low population. And you can see here the points spawned up there, and I was able to throw down uh, my units in order to help grab this energy. Uh, I sent mine off to the side there uh, to do my best to try to get the energy. Now, I do pick up, I believe, yeah, I do pick up two of the packets. Uh, the brutes that did most of the damage did were able to pick up one of the packets, which is not ideal, but I believe there were three drops up there, so we got... What is that? Three and two thirds, or two and two thirds of the three drops, so that's pretty good. Uh, now I'm going to move my choppers down to set them up down there. And you can see they're making a hard push for C. Uh, I have one Bloodfield Locust on there, but my teammate's going to turn his units around and we're going to come back here and fight them at C. Uh, usually we would just go ahead and let them go, but we've already wiped their troops once, and we have the economy advantage, so we think if we can wipe their troops again, that we will. Um, in effect, you know, kind of end the game. We'll have wiped their troops twice. Uh, we'll still have troops on the map. But he does a smart move and does retreat. You can see here that um, B is neutral once again. Now, I was trying to decide if I wanted to drop something, and then I kind of just decided against it. I could see that they were moving back to the map. Uh, now they're starting to engage up at the top. Uh, these guys kind of engaged bigger armies, and they kind of did it solo. They were kind of, they kind of did like a renegade, uh, attacks. They didn't really coordinate attacks as a team, um, and two of them, I believe, were in a party, so they could have at least coordinated two at a time, uh, but they did not coordinate. 
So, consequently, their armies kept getting wiped by stronger forces, and they weren't getting much of the energy, so we were building up a lot of that. Uh, so they were just at a huge disadvantage here. And now soon, whenever we decide to make our push, which is coming here, I believe, should be coming in the next few seconds. Uh, we do hold A and A and C. I guess I guess we could just... I think we just hold A and C. Uh, we have an army building up at each one. I'm collecting the energy here. Uh, my brutes are having a little bit of an issue. This is kind of an issue sometimes. It kind of delays it a little bit to let the person who actually destroyed it get it. Which is a good... It's good in theory, but it's not really great overall. So here we move on to B just to get the trip cap. They don't have much left. And I should hold off up top. You can see a small push coming up with a blister back and a locust, but a blister back is not enough. So I'm going to go ahead and try to hold uh, A here by myself as they push on to B. You can see the armies are meeting up in the middle. Uh, this is the one issue with support is when I have to defend a point where I get kind of left high and dry and I need to hold the point. Uh, I can't really uh, move it in to give too much support, but... I am able to support myself, that's what I do here. I put down the si or the siphon field uh, to heal and do damage. Um, I believe I'm just trying to stall at this point. I realize I'm not going to be able to beat them on my own up here. So I go ahead and stall. And then I drop down my Mar Marauder War Chieftain to boost at least my Locust up top while I wait for help to come in. As you can see them moving up on the mini-map and here they come. I think, yeah, here I'm going to boost with the Boundless Fury. Uh, this is what you want to do, obviously, with the Boundless Fury. You want to get it kind of in between. I believe it's area of effect, but it's a huge area of effect. I don't think it boosts everybody on the map, but I think it's a pretty big area of effect. And so we're going to do a full push towards their spawn. I'm just dropping in troops on each objective so that I have people there in case they make it out to, pu to push. I can drop troops and defend it. But it's pretty much a GG right here. You can see they're pushing one wraith up top. But with pushing that one wraith, they're pushing it towards where I have a bunch of troops. Um, and we do secure the energy there, the energy that they were pushing hard to get. I have enough for another Marauder War Chieftain, as well as a Siphon Field. And I'm just going to go ahead and drop troops in here to collect this energy. I don't know why I dropped a Marauder War Chieftain to grab that energy. That was a little bit of a weird play. Uh, and then the Marauder that I already had there ended up collecting it anyway, but you know, you get the point. Uh, I was trying to drop to collect the energy. Not that it's too big of a deal at the end of the game, because we're about to win 170 to 171. We take the lead right there, and pretty much once you take the lead there, uh, they didn't really have a formulated good push. Um, I decided to move all my troops down onto A, because it didn't make sense to sit up at top. I think there may be one more energy drop. Uh, but at that point, it wouldn't even matter. Uh, but we have Scarabs in their spawn, and we have all their troops wiped. And at this point, they know it's over. They pretty much give up, and that is the victory. Uh, that's the support deck. That's how I play it. Uh, I have plenty of gameplay, some with fit, some with commentary, some without, some just with music. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll catch you guys in the, uh, in the next Halo Wars 2 gameplay. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy. Catch you guys then. Peace out.